Hi, I'm Emily Teague. I'm a portrait and fashion photographer. And for those of you that have been following me, I've been in South Africa for the last two months and just got back to the busy, loud, cold streets of New York City. So we're shooting here today and we're talking about shooting two models. This is something I avoided for a long time just because it was a lot harder. I had a lot of issues trying to shoot multiple models at the same time. And in the past few years, I've leaned into it because it's actually really fun. So I've got two models here today. We've got Brandy Nicole, who is a talented photographer, my roommate, and my best friend over on the left. And then on the right, we've got Riley Hale, who is my studio manager and wildly talented and has modeled for me a lot as well. And then Ari is our assistant today. She's on her way here and is bringing my strobe. So we're gonna start with natural light and then ease on into some artificial light mixed with ambient light later. But let's talk about a few things that I wanna watch for as I'm doing this shoot with two people today. So first thing is my aperture. It's gonna be higher than I normally would have it just because I wanna make sure everything is in focus and it's pretty easy, especially multiple models, if one's in front, one's slightly behind to get them both in focus. So I'm going for a higher aperture. I'm gonna watch out for that. I'm also gonna watch out for my lighting and just make sure that they're both looking good, evenly lit, that they're both um, in the same kind of lighting conditions. And the last thing I'm gonna watch out for is expression, pose, and story. So I've created a story today where it's these two sisters and they've just arrived in this brand new city. Maybe they're on the run from something and they really only have each other. So I've told that story to Riley and to Brandy and I've given them a few words about who their characters are. So let's play around and we'll just go throughout New York and see what we can get. For settings right now, I'm at 1 over 125, which is a little lower than I would normally go, but because I'm shooting natural light, I wanna let a lot in because my aperture is quite a lot higher than I would normally go for one model. I'm at 7.1, and that should feel pretty safe to me to get them both in focus. And then my ISO is at 640, also a little higher than I would normally go, but again, we are working with natural light and a high aperture, so something's gotta give. So let's try a few test shots. So we're here with Brandy and Riley. Um, they look absolutely beautiful. And as I was saying, I think this first shot is gonna be you guys kind of holding hands. Beautiful. And then Brandy, maybe even this arm, like kind of holding onto Riley's arm. Beautiful. So I'm just looking for a story to tell. And also it's really helpful to give your models something to do, whether it's one or two, but especially with two models, because each model is gonna be doing something different or you wouldn't want them to do the same exact pose. Like if they're both like this, that might not look right. So it's, it's just really helpful to give your model a lot of instruction or an activity to do. So we're starting out with walking, which is normally easier just because it gives them something to do. So let's try that. I'm gonna be over here. And a couple things, I know that I want a slight angle. I know that I wanna be down to the ground, kind of looking up at them because I, that's the style I normally like to shoot. It kind of has this more cinematic, powerful feel. And as I am composing, let's have you guys come forward a little bit. I'm watching out for these lines behind me um, of the metal, just making sure that that's pointing towards the background and watching out for leading lines and making sure that everything around them looks good. So let's take a few test shots, see how this goes. So guys, at the count of three, I'm just gonna have you walk forward. One, two, three. That's looking really nice. And so some things that I'm liking here, my background is really dark, even though I have just a little light bulb here that's showing through. So there is still some information back there but their faces are beautifully lit by the sun. So we're, we're getting really nice lighting in this alleyway just because it's very soft and even, but we still have open sky over here that's gonna be lighting them up. So this is actually very ideal lighting for me, especially without using a strobe. So let's try some more shots. Again, one more time for my settings. I'm at 1 one twenty-fifth. I'm at 7.1 for my aperture, and I'm at 640 for my ISO. And I'm actually gonna go up just a little bit with my shutter, just because they are walking. And normally I don't go over 1 60th, but 1 1 60th. Um, but as I said, I wanna let in as much natural light as possible. So let's take a shot and see how that's looking. Gorgeous. And so that's actually looking really nice still. So 1 1 60th, I've gone up just a little bit with my shutter speed, just so I'm not getting motion blur as I'm shooting. And guys, let's try that again. Brandy, let's have you looking over kind of in this direction. And then Riley, let's have you looking just fiercely straight ahead. Beautiful, let's try that. And one, two, three. Gorgeous. And so things that I'm watching out for, I'm looking at Brandy's expression and also with this lighting 
and <laughs> there's lots of noises in the city. <laughs> with this lighting and also with her makeup, she's getting a really nice um, contour. So her cheekbones looking great, jawbones looking great, lovely. Riley's looking fiercely ahead, I love that. Let's try a few more and see if we're gonna mix anything up. And one, two, three. One other thing to note, for my drive mode, instead of single shooting, I'm currently at high speed continuous just because I don't want to miss a shot as they're walking by. So anytime that I'm shooting motion, it's also just helpful to be in high speed continuous. So I'm super happy with how these shots are turning out. So we moved a little bit away from our alley. We are now in our next spot. And at first I was looking at this black wall over yonder, um, but I realized having Brandy with the black wig and the black hat and the black jacket, I would just lose her to that black. So I wanted a little bit of separation and contrast. So we have this more kind of gray toned wall. We're working with natural light still. So I have these tall buildings in New York City. So our sun currently is reflecting off the windows on this building up there. And that reflection is then coming down onto Rand to Riley and Brandy. It's actually really beautiful. We're not gonna have it for long, so I'm gonna try to shoot this pretty quickly. And the only thing I've adjusted for my settings is I've taken it from 7.1 with my aperture down to 6.3, just to let in a little bit more light. And they're also very close to each other, so I'm not very worried. If I was really close up, let's say shooting Riley portrait style and Brandy was right behind her, then Brandy would be out of focus. But if I'm this far back, I don't really have to worry about it. So I think 6.3 feels safe. Let's try a few shots. So lighting and location I'm super happy with, and I wanted to give them something to do and kind of add to the story that we're telling. So I'm imagining they're just like waiting around the city all day. They don't really know what to do. They might not have a home yet in this new adventure of theirs. So Riley is just gonna kind of be reading her book. Um, that's gonna be her role, and I've made sure that her pose is looking flattering. Um, and meanwhile, Brandy is kind of more the protective one. She's kind of looking out, she's wondering, what are we gonna do? So that's the backstory with the poses here. I also like that they're on different levels and I'm shooting horizontal, so I feel like that just adds a little bit more to the story as well and compositionally also looks nice. So let's keep playing around. So even in the little bit of time that I've been shooting, my light is already changing a lot and it's already getting darker. So I need to let some light back in. So I'm just gonna take my shutter speed from 1 1 60th down to 1 1 25th. And that's gonna let a little bit more light in and also they're not moving this time. So I don't have to worry too much about that motion blur that I was worried about before. So I'm feeling pretty good about where I'm at right now. I'm gonna do a few more shots, but I think another good look and we'll go change to our next location. So we wandered around a bit to our third location. We found this really cool yellow metal with these Chinese lanterns. So a few things to note. I am introducing artificial light with my Ellen Chrome 5. It's a 500 watt second strobe that my friend Ari is gonna be holding. I'm pairing that with a 39 inch Rotolux with two layers of diffusion. I'm gonna be feathering that slightly just so we get some nice soft light. I'm also introducing this little piece of fabric. So I've been playing with this a lot recently when I'm using artificial light, um, and it just creates a really nice hazy kind of warm effect because there is a little bit of brown color to this. Um, and I'll show you both a before and after of what it looks like without it and with it. It's a lot more contrast with it. It's just two different looks, but I think it kind of gives us this vintage feel. So I'm gonna use that and then let's talk about settings. Right now I'm at one 200th of a second. I can't go over that because my camera, my light won't sink. I'm at 5.6 for my aperture. Lots of noises in the city today. And uh, 400 is my ISO. So we'll take a few test shots and I'm gonna try another walking shot like we did earlier, but it's gonna be a little bit different. So let's play around and see what we get. So I'm really happy with these shots. I'm making sure that I'm shooting in vertical because I really wanna show those little red Chinese lanterns above them. 
And when I'm shooting horizontally to show those lanterns and to have them in frame, I'm having them just look really small because I am shooting with a 35 millimeter lens, a prime lens. So I'm happy shooting vertical and just kind of trying to have them fill the center section of the frame. I'm also making sure to try and show a little bit of the roof where there's these beautiful tiles showing. I'm making sure that their arms are not doing the same thing. They're also looking in different directions. And for the lighting, it's feathered just a little bit, but it looks really even and natural. I'm at 2.1 for the power on my strobe and mixed with my settings of 1 to 100th, 5.6 for my aperture and 400 for my ISO. I think this is looking really natural. I think you could probably tell someone this is natural light and they might believe it. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. Let's try one more look. So we're here in our fourth and final location and Riley had to run, so we shot first and I figured I'd give you the breakdown now. Let's start with settings. So for my shutter, I'm at 1 1 60th still. I've taken my aperture and I've raised it back up to 7.1 just to get a little bit more punch in there. And my ISO is at 500. I have Ari with my light coming from about this side of the table. And so this side is nice and lit. It's also mimicking the sunset going on over there. And this side has some nice soft, not too dark shadow. This is also helping lighten up my shadows a little bit, which is one of the reasons I still have this on. And again, it's giving this really nice, warm vintage effect that I'm happy about. I'm also getting a bit of a sun flare from the reflection hitting over there that's blooming a bit because of this material. So I think this is really fun. I'm happy with settings. Last thing to mention is we, for the story, I had them kind of playing cards. They're just sitting at this table, wasting time with anything in the world to do. Um, and they're kind of just having fun together. So I think the images go well together. The story plays out. Hopefully this helped you guys. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, if you're shooting multiple models, if you have before, if something has worked or hasn't worked. I would love to hear from you guys and I will see you all next time.